For the second stage of the AJ Bell Women's Tour, we headed to the town of Walsall in the English West Midlands for an exciting Kermes-style race on a circuit just outside of the town. And with nine laps of the hilly course containing three intermediate sprints and classified climbs, we were set for some dynamic racing. And with the high winds of stage one still present, there was also good old English autumn rain for the bunch to deal with and making for a tough day out. With the rain uh, will be a really hard race and difficult race and uh, also is very cold and I prefer uh, uh, warm weather and sun but uh, yes Great Britain is like this and so. <laughs> Yeah, I think it will be interesting with the climb. Uh, if it's raced hard, then it can yeah, really split the bunch, I think. But um, there's looking like there's going to be a bit of wind as well. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And um, we've got Elise uh, who can kind of make attacks and be there if there's a small group and also sprint really well. And if not, um, then hopefully I'll be there ready for a sprint. Um, today it's a bit wet out there, so hopefully a safe ride. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a Kermie style um, race today. But uh, a lot of sprint preems, a lot of QOMs, so there'll be some action and probably end up in a sprint final. But um, yeah, we'll see and hopefully we'll be up there in the end. Despite even harder rain as the race rolled out of the Warsaw Arboretum, the crowds are out to watch the world's best compete. Defending the sprints jersey, Nina Kessler won the first uphill intermediate sprint, taking the points ahead of race leader Marta Bastianelli and Sofia Bertizzola. An effort to form a breakaway failed when, on the next lap, the race competed for the first classified climb at Bar Beacon, with Elise Chabet winning that ahead of Demi Vollering and Lizzie Dignan. The sprints came hard and fast now, and despite only having two women left in the race, Live Racing were active with Sofia Bertizzolo taking the honours ahead of Kessler and Australian champion Sarah Roy. And the minor competitions continued to make for very hard racing, when, on the very next time round, Anna Santesteban attacked hard to take the climbing points at Bar Beacon. But with the line coming just round the bend, she was forced into second place behind Canyon Sram's Elise Chabet, with Leah Kirchman third. In the final intermediate sprint at Bar Common Lane, Kessler cemented her lead in the red sprints jersey, going very long and crossing the line in first place with Sarah Roy in second and her bike exchange teammate to Neil Campbell taking third. Finally, a 16-woman break got away to fight for the final Queen of the Mountains points, Ella Harris winning ahead of Elena Peroni and Clara Caponi. But it was another 10-woman break who was set to fight for the win, heading into the final three kilometres with a lead approaching one minute and with DSM's Pfeiffer Georgie off the front of the race by nearly 100 metres. Inside the final 500 metres and the British rider still had the lead and looked set for her first UCI Women's World Tour victory. But with SD Works rider Demi Vollering on the front, it would be hard to stay away as Georgie descended into Walsall Town Centre and took the final corner still ahead. Round the corner and could she do it? Out of the saddle and she goes hard. But behind her, so did Amy Peters, the Dutch champion out of the saddle, and she caught Georgie as her strength ran out with 150 metres to go. But it was a long sprint and it looked like Caponi would come over the top. But Peters gave it one last big effort, just about holding on to take the win. Yes, yeah, it was a hectic final. I think the whole day was uh, pretty hectic. But uh, in the end, he had a late attack from a Simbab uh, girl and... She was still, and Demi, my teammate, she uh, tried to catch her back and it was still a small gap after the last corner. But uh, I thought I just need to start, otherwise, yeah, you lose it anyway. So it was early sprint, but it went well in the end. I'm really happy that I, I'm still in the jersey and we took so many points. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, there was like uh, a group in the break in the last uh, lap. We, actually, we did miss it, but we are really happy we still have the jersey. Yeah, I'm very happy, but... Uh, like I say, uh, just before, it's not enough for me. I want to win this week, so yeah, two podium in a row, it's very good, but uh, I want more. Hot on Amy Peters' heels, Clara Caponi bettered her stage one result, finishing second, with a return to form for Movistar's Sheila Gutierrez, who was third. Audrey Cornorago came home in fourth place, and, having been caught so late in the stage, Pfeiffer Georgie held on for fifth. Clara Caponi's excellent race so far has been rewarded with the overall lead, though she is on the same time as second place Amy Peters, 
Gutierrez is in third place, six seconds back. Demi Vollering is fourth at nine seconds, with Juliette Labousse fifth at ten seconds.